97. Bob, it's been a Benz, while, Benz, man. Benz. It's, it has been a while. We have I, a lot I, to talk about. I know. It's like last time I saw you, your hair was a different color. I think Pink. you went through a couple different colors. Possibly blue. Who knows? You know, <laughs> I thought about dyeing my hair. Okay, I'm not. Nah. It's, you know, not it's too really much. Not really for me. I want to talk about the tour. I don't think it's any more cities left the tour. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't, <laughs> it's crazy. But we come around the home stretch now. We are almost done. Almost done being on the road. And we're good. Okay, so this is good. So why name the tour this? Because people like me often, too many times, get told to shut the fuck up. And I felt like I'm going to take this acronym and just make it my own. Yeah. Hence the name Save the Fucking Underdogs. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing it for the underdogs, for the people who get overlooked, the people yeah. who get told to shut the fuck up, yep. the people who get told that they're different. Oh, yes. That's why we're doing this tour. I was seeing all the stuff that you tweet and talk about. I think this is, it, it feels right. You know, you talk about chemtrails and, you know, it's funny because I, I hate the word conspiracy because it makes it seem like it's not real. These are things yeah. that are happening and you actually are vocal about it. I've come to find out that in today's society, there's like a... Uh, you know the little Venn diagram you draw? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you know, the things that are, these are socially acceptable to talk about and to discuss and to question. And me and the circle of people that I'm around and the people that I hang out with all the time, we, you know, it's normal to talk about stuff that people would deem conspiracy that would not fall inside of that common knowledge or common, you know, uh, dialogue that people have. And so I definitely hate that word, but... I mean, you know, it is what it is. People call it whatever, but at the end of the day, the point is to provoke thought. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want people to just believe everything I say or just hang on to everything I say. I want you to go research it and find out for yourself. People are like, so Bob, tell me, what do you think is going on? What do you yeah. think? Like, no, you find out. You hear what I'm talking about? You see me. I've been talking the same shit yeah. for a while now. And so, you know, I'm just kind of, it's, it's like my life. It's like regular. Do you get trolled more? Because you're just more vocal about everything, or has the trolling been the same since the beginning? Um, the trolling has evolved. The trolling has changed. Oh, the trolls are different now. <laughs> what and kind of trolls are these? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lots you of know, eggs. It's different because at first, you know, uh, trolls used to troll me for yeah. being for having pop music. Now the trolls. Or just for everything, it don't. I I I don't need. I can't even keep up with it. I don't know what people are mad at me about this day. Yeah. <laughs> so I just you know, but you know, it, after a while, you know, it's, you just get numb to it. Yeah. It don't really tomato tomato. I think it's interesting that the mixtapes that you've put out, you talk about all these things. Has anyone tried to censor the music you've done? <laughs> it's impossible to censor the music that I've done. I think now, it's just way harder hmm. to reach the people that I used to be able to reach. And wait, why? Because social media has become so monetized now. Right. That the algorithms have been mm. algorithmed yeah, <laughs> to, it, yep. to where you can't reach all the same people. And you know, and, and then also, you know, with everything, all the all the major social media platforms are following new the new uh, format where like they kind of s- are selective on what people see from your account or what you post yeah. on, on all of them. So it's like me and you talk about conspiracy shit all the time. Yep. They're going to be like, all right, we'll just let them see the conspiracy shit. Yeah. But you may not see, oh, Bob's performing over here in Cleveland. Da, da, and it's sold out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, I think the spread and word, the word of mouth is always going to supersede yep. anything if that's the right word yep <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. and you know what I, the reason i was asking because actually yg was here yesterday and you know he has a song called fuck donald trump yeah and actually the secret service um went after him and basically told me he wasn't going to put this record out or whatever without it being censored so that's why i was wondering if that has happened to you because this is really actually happening yes. right now and it kind of makes me, and that's why I feel like, you know, 
I feel like somebody got to say something. You know what I mean? It's like, what's going to happen in 10 years from now? People going to want to, you know, it's kind of like back when NWA had, had the yes. song Fuck the Police and it was like, they couldn't perform it. Crazy. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that all over again. It's like now people look. I feel like we should always be able to have free speech because if you don't have free speech and you're not able to just say what you want to say, it's like a dictatorship. That's like a tyranny. And it's almost like, so there could be free speech for hate groups, but you're going to yeah. control <laughs> free speech when it comes to artists and yeah. musicians with, you know, saying things that are obviously affecting all of us right yeah. now. Like, I just, that's why I was so curious. And maybe yeah, now right. the Secret Service will pay attention to you and start... You know? No, nah, they already. I mean, they already had. I know the first couple of days they had people following, following the tours. See what I was talking about. Really? See what I was saying at the shows. Yeah. How did you know? Because the people around me are very uh, intelligent, very perceptive. Yeah. <laughs> I care about my fans. Yeah. I I man, I'm gonna tell you like being in this industry, as long as I as I have, like you become grateful for everything more yeah but um especially more grateful for my fans because when you really understand like these literally are the people that's holding you up to be able to be on the platform and to have the voice that i have like if like i need my fans more than they need me yeah you know like i don't have a voice if ain't nobody sharing my songs or sharing my posts or telling people about me who are you you know what i'm saying mm. like you know so the, the appreciation is just so real right now, especially has, on tour. Has the industry been, you know, the same towards you or different, especially with the stuff that you talk about? Oh yeah, definitely. Really? I mean, I'm again, I'm going against the grain. <laughs> Bobby Tell Ray us. is going against the grain. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's different because you know you may say something and you know people may like actions speak louder than words. It's really just you know. People may act differently towards you, you know. People may not pick the phone, the phone up as much as they used to. People may not be as talkative as when they're around you as much. People may look at you funny. People may, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it really changes. But it's, it's, it's great. You know why it's great? It's because I would rather see true colors than hidden colors. Mm. So in my world, the world has become so transparent. <laughs> yeah. You had mentioned that, you know, do women really want to know the truth? Mm. You I'm know, glad you, this is I'm glad you brought that up. Right. But I what do you think? Do you think women want to know the truth when you're being honest? That's your only that's your only job. It's, right. It's like you honest. And then whatever comes from that, you got to deal with being honest. Yep. So I can't, when you be honest, you can't say, all right, to be honest, you can't get mad at me, though, because, like, shit, you might get mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think girls do want honesty, but, you know, it don't mean that you can't get mad, is what I'm saying. Because, okay. because like, the person is saying, I want honesty, they're not saying... I want honesty, and I don't, and I don't want to be hurt. And I promise I won't be mad. You know yeah, I mean? we're always gonna get mad. Yeah. So okay. Give us an example. To move it to my next point. <laughs> yes. I. Sometimes I wonder, like, do women really understand a, a man? What it means to be a man? And I and I and to no. be honest, I don't think so. No. Here I'll answer yes. collectively. <laughs> and if there's a woman out there who thinks otherwise, no, we don't. That's why we're different. Don't think and don't think you can change. Sometimes I feel like women can think they can change a man. That's the biggest mistake that we do. And I but see, like, you know that. Yeah. But a lot of girls don't know that. No, but you know what? It is. It's true. For us women, a lot of times we think that we could change somebody to fit this ideology that we have when it's never going to happen. He's He is who he is, and either you take him for who he is or you don't. You know, I'm just at a point for me, you know, me personally, I understand that men and women are different. And we're going to be wired different. Yeah. Different. Women are going to excel better in different areas than a nigga would. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's just how it is. In most <laughs> areas. <laughs> In most areas. I mean, women are amazing. Women are so amazing. Women like women. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't like women? Yeah, women, we're great. Women are awesome. Right now, 
what's what's the love life looking for you? Because you were in a public relationship yes. and no longer happened. And then now, you know, you're on tour. Do you even have time? Are you in a relationship? What's going uh, on? You know, I'm I like having fun. Cause women interpret it and they just like, I'm just coming in the city like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that that's is not, not the case no no okay. i'm just saying people think that because i'm like a conspiracy theorist and because i'm like very uh conscious yeah they think that bible Ray does not have does, they think bible Ray don't turn up well there was eggplant fridays so i'm sure everyone knows that you do turn up i didn't start eggplant friday eggplant friday started me <laughs> 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 oh gosh Bobby I was just Ray. trying to promote a healthy diet yeah and a vegetarian course. lifestyle That's yeah <laughs> would you ever go public again with a relationship what have you learned I'm real extreme mm. I'm very extreme and I don't even realize it you know like I like I be over here and then I be over here and I be over there and I just you know it's normal to me it's like normally what I do. Yeah. Like when I be in a room, I be pacing the floor. Be like, is he crazy? Be like, no. That's just that's just Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so I just learned to uh, to balance more mm. and not to be so extreme. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? Not to judge so harshly. Yeah. And and you know forgive people. Wow. That, des that deserve to be, <laughs> to be to hear this from forgiven. a man forgiving that's that's a tough one that's 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 the especially me i'm a scorpio you know scorpio we the most vengeful people we the most <laughs> vengeful <laughs> astrological sign in the zodiac yeah and you've learned how to forgive now how about well, well hold on okay i'm better okay yeah. than i used I'm, I'm better than i used you're to be better. <laughs> i'm not there yet how about when it comes to apologizing because i know men have a really hard time with this concept of Apolo taking the first step to say i'm sorry i kind of battle with that concept because in my world apologizing usually falls in the in the the realm of being an artist or something that i may have done in the realm of artistry like I may have did a song or said a verse or uh, put out a cover mm. or something that may offend somebody. And I feel like art shouldn't have to apologize because when there's a a, a movie that comes out and, you, just, you know, they just like, you want them to shoot them up bang bang movies or yeah. a movie where they use racial slurs or whatever. Like the director doesn't have to apologize after that. And I feel like it shouldn't be biased when it comes to music. So I guess, in, you know, apology in that in that aspect I would probably never be apologetic. Yeah, for <laughs> of course, especially your music. I'm really big on being a real person. Yeah. I feel like the concept of somebody being on a platform and, 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 and the gist of them being a better person, I feel like it's kind of unfair. Mm. Because just because somebody's on a platform, it does not mean that they have to be a better person although it is wise that they should mm, lead point. by example being that people are copying them right and not copying but becoming inspired by what they do whether that be good or bad the people on the pedestal it does make sense for them to be good examples but i feel like it's kind of unrealistic to expect them and hold them to that requirement so everything else as far as right now music wise where are we at How's it going for you? Right now, uh, you know, I got a label, No Genre. Yep. Um, Shouts out to London J, Scotty ATL, Young Javi, Jock Beats, Jake Lambeau. He out here <laughs> doing the thug thizzle. And so, um, you know, uh, we're we working on music right now while we're on the road. Um, working on the STFU uh, EP, little mixtape project, you know, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm working on, me and Tip are working on something. Oh, um, nice. And uh, I'm working on my album, my next album. And I want this album because I've had a lot of time to work on it. And I just, you know, I want it to be like the first album. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it was just special. I want it to be that special. And I'm not just talking about the sound 
or having big, huge pop records. It was just very special. Yeah. And that's what I want my next album to be. What are the plans for this to make it special? Give us something. What's when, going on? See, the thing is very simple because my first album, I have been working on those songs my whole life. Damn. I mean, there are still songs like, you know, those songs were from like age 17, 19, 20, 25, you know what I mean? Not 25, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like just years spent collecting all the best moments to put on one album. What were your thoughts when you first heard about the, you know, the Orlando shooting? Were you just um, like, I just really? A lot of a lot of questions. Yeah. Just, just like, man, I don't know. Uh, why? Yeah. How? Just a lot of why? And then you know, I'm I'm really big on on guns, and um, you know, I got friends who are in the military, and you know, we, you know, all, basically all my friends is really big on guns, and so just you know, sometimes hearing hearing uh, facts. You know, it's just certain things just don't really make sense to me, being a, a, a gun owner and a gun connoisseur. Yeah. And so it just raises questions. You know, questions were raised when I first heard it. And, um, you know, in situations like that, it's very difficult because it's such a sensitive topic oh, and, yeah. and a sensitive subject. You know, and and it's 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 like when it comes to things like that, I I'm like a, a a risky person. You know, I'm a bold person. I'm the person that's gonna say something when everybody else would be like, no, probably stay away, be. stay away. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I had a friend where I was a uh, who who had died of cancer, mm. and little did you know at the time I didn't know, but with the rec the stuff that I research now, you know, like people have been getting cured of cancer since the '80s. Since the seventies, you know, uh, with like the Gerson's treatment, the Gerson's therapy, and even Doctor Sebi's treatments, you yeah. know, and so cannabis at the time, oil and yeah, yeah, and and yeah, and I, yeah, and I even knew a friend who had skin cancer, and they rubbed uh, cannabis oil, and it's just like all these things, and I'm like, you know, uh, sometimes we have to ask the questions that are that we're too afraid to ask. Sometimes we have to speak up and say things that we're too afraid to say. But at the same time, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be wise and tactful with how you do it. You right. know, sometimes I'm not always. Sometimes I make mistakes. Yeah. But I'm not afraid to do that because the next person can learn from my mistakes and do better, and then it can, it can inspire people to to then evolve and make different decisions and have a better understanding. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and I think yeah. that's important. Now let's go back to technology real quick. Technology. Now, what was that situation? The gift and the curse. With that screenshot, what was that situation with that screenshot? Apparently, you trying to get that Which threesome, <laughs> and they try to put you on blast, and that whole thing. When I saw that, I laughed, and I was like, "Yo, he's out Man, of control." Um, I really don't be sliding in people's DMs, but you know, sometimes <laughs> I just want to be regular. I want to be myself. You know what I'm saying? I'll be here. I'll be listening to Yo Gotti song. You go down the DM. I'll be like, "Hell yeah!" yeah. I'm <laughs> so I'm like, you know, sometimes I get a little carried away. But, um, you know, it's neither here nor there. Yeah. You know. But I think that's so, you know, so, uh, you know, girls are always so like, Izzy, how do you meet, like, Bob? And it's like, I mean, I guess you could. We were just talking about this today. Re really? Because, you know, we're in New York. Yeah. And we from the South. <laughs> so we used to, like, going to the mall, hollering at girls, talking to girls. You know, here, when you're on the street, girls don't talk to you. You know, you'd be like, hey, what's up? We'd be like, No. Y'all do not talk to nobody. <laughs> I'm like, how do you meet girls anymore? Do you like, the only way you can meet girls is meet girls online. What do you think about and online? And I can't meet girls online. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you feel? So I don't know how I'm supposed to meet girls. <laughs> how, what am I supposed to do? Help Bob out and maybe send you a DM. Maybe that is the way. Nope, I'm done. My DM days are over. No, that you don't even read them? Nope. Good. No more. Keeps you out of trouble. Done. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like being in trouble, but now nah, I'm done. <laughs>